Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Farts and Fairies, a 2 to 6 player game that takes about 20 minutes to play and is for ages 8 and up. And for every game sold, they're going to donate a copy to a child hospital. Pretty cool, right? In the game Farts and Fairies, you're basically going to be playing as uh, fart fairies. <laughs> you're going to be throwing out gaseous cards and basically having players bank those cards. You'll try and prevent those farts from hitting you and securing as little gas as possible in your bank. Cards are going to be flying throughout this game as players draw cards and play cards against each other, and you're going to be using all of the opportunities you can to counter those onto other players in the game. With more players comes more shenanigans, and of course they come with a adults-only deck for those of you who want to add a little bit extra uh, craziness and maybe a little bit more uh, adult-only content to the game, you can do that, but otherwise a pretty fairly simple, straightforward attack you card game featuring farts and of course fairies. Let's take a look down below, show what comes in the game, how to play, and then we'll come up and I'll give you my review. Welcome to Farts and Fairies, and right now the game is currently set up for two players to show you how to play the game. Simply go ahead and shuffle the deck, and if you'd like to include the expansion cards, you'll take those and shuffle them in as well. And then you're going to deal out every player eight cards from the top of the deck. After that, choose a starting player, and that player is going to get to do two things on their turn. They'll draw a card, and then they'll choose to either draw another or play a card. When you play a card, you're going to generally be playing fart cards. However, there are other cards you can play, and it'll tell you on the bottom of the card what they do. Uh, whenever you play a fart card, it'll have a number on the top left car, or the so side of the card, or the bottom right-hand side, and that is the number that gets banked on the player that you play it on, as long as it does get banked, because there's going to be wars in this game. If I play a card on somebody, they can try and revert it back to me. Uh, you have other cards here, like for instance, uh, Fart Dust here, which is basically like a wild, um, and then you're going to have cards like the Police here, which can have um, a card prevented from being hit from hitting you. And then you have action cards like Reverse, which will send a card back, which you can kind of play back and forth uh, even when it's not your turn. So to start off, I'll play my card, and I'm going to play the fart card on this player over here. And this player will look at his or her hand and look at the cards that they have, and then they'll choose cards they can play. Like, for instance, maybe I want to divert this card. Uh, to divert to any player. I can divert it to another player if they were in the game, or simply back to this player here. And of course, this player can go ahead and uh, try and divert it as well, so I can go ahead and divert back. And if that was the case, then these cards would get discarded. Maybe he or she chose not to play any cards, or doesn't want, doesn't have any cards to play. Uh, in this case, the card will get banked, and that player will keep the card. In this case, a two. The more points in your bank at the end of the game, the more likely it is you're going to lose. You want to have as little amount of points as possible, because that means you've got less gas air surrounding you. Uh, then, of course, after this player finishes his or her turn, the next player will get a chance to go, drawing a card and, of course, playing a card of their choosing. And in some cases, uh, maybe they don't have a card that they, ha they can play or that they want to play. Or in this case here, maybe I can play Beans, discard my hand, and reload with the same number of cards. So I'll go ahead and do that. That's an action card. And I have four and three, seven cards, discarding these guys here and drawing seven cards from the deck, hopefully giving me more fart cards to play on my opponent on the next turn. So now I got my seven cards. I drew a card, I played a card, I pass, and the next player gets a chance to go. Drawing a card, and of course, playing a card. Bam, I'm gonna play another fart card. Here's one, this is Rainbow Farts. I'm gonna try and play a one on you, in which case this player might say, no, I'm going to reverse this, and I'm gonna go ahead and send it straight back to where it came from, putting it back to my court. And maybe I don't have a card to play to prevent that, in which case I would keep that card in my pool. And then of course I would end my turn, because I play it in action, and of course I drew a card. And the game will just keep going just like that. Players are gonna be basically playing their farts, diverts, their reverts, a bunch of different types of actions, stealing cards from players' hand, uh, drawing additional cards, and utilizing fart dust, which counts as uh, basically any card or a very strong gas, which is going to be a five-pointer. And when this deck runs out, whoever has the most uh, cards banked, or most points banked, is going to be the loser, the biggest loser, and of course whoever has the least is going to be the winner. Pretty straightforward. With the expansion, it brings up four new cards. You're going to have a godmother, shart, expo and a unique type of fart. <laughs> And uh, you'll be using these cards. Now, divert your eyes if you don't want to see these guys, but I'll explain what they do. Sharts are going to increase your farts potential when you add them together. You're going to have your exposes, which will allow you to expose the discard pile and take a card of your choice. Uh, these purple cards here are going to give you minuses. You can bank them in front of you and thusly reduce the value of gas in front of you, which is actually a positive thing. And then you have the godmother, which means that every player can send a fart to the person that drew this card. 
it's not a good card if you draw it. <laughs> and of course, you can choose to play with this deck or not. And of course, it is more of a uh, non-so-family-friendly style game uh, when you add those in. But nevertheless, that's basically the idea for how you play the game. Farts and fairies. Draw, play, pass. So the game is very simple. You draw a card and then you play a card. Or if you don't want to play a card, you can simply draw another card. Total of eight cards in your hand. And if you have any other extra cards, you have to discard them. Except for fart cards, they'll stay in your hand because at the end of the game, when the deck runs out, if you have any in your hand, they go into your bank, which is a negative. You do not want to have those, of course, in your hand at the end of the game. You want them to be on other players. You're trying to divert and to push other cards away from yourself and onto other players and attack other players with the cards that you have, utilizing the strongest cards on the players who have the least amount of points in front of them. It's a pretty forward, pretty straightforward, take that style card game involving you using action cards to divert cards and of course place cards into your opponent's banks and making sure that you get rid of all those cards in your hand that have a high value and give it to your opponents. There's a ton of different action cards in the game, a steal and swap and protection, occupy beans, bombs, etc, etc. And they do a bunch of different things. So they let you draw additional cards, play stronger cards. There's also divert cards and reverse cards that basically as a card's flying towards you, you can kind of fan it away onto another player, or back onto the player that is playing it on you. Uh, as, as well as also the expansion to the game, the adults only. This actually comes with additional rules and unique little twists and turns. There's a card actually that describes how to play with these guys here. And there's four different types of cards. There's godmother cards. There's a different type of fart card. There's a shark card and an exposed card. And some of those actually will bank in front of you, thusly reducing the number of farts you have in play. And others are going to be stronger, more toxic individuals that will be placed in front of your opponents. Uh, this is a silly card game that involves the word fart quite a bit. And of course, fairies as well. Players who enjoy this type of humor are going to enjoy this type of a game. If you like Take That card games and you like something that's kind of funny, it's got the poo-poo kind of humor, right, attached to it. It's what you're going to expect to see when you get the game. The cards in your hand are going to be basically a bunch of fairies uh, shooting out fairy dust uh, from their their nether region area. <laughs> Whether it be a, a kid running from a ghost that fart or maybe just a, a fart fairy that's shooting out rainbows. Uh, it's pretty straightforward as to the type of humor in the game. Uh, the artwork <laughs> fits really well with the game. It's kind of got these bearded individuals and these fairies and all that. They're kind of like, I would say kind of like the fair, fairly odd parents, those little fairy, you know, the kids show from like the, the early 2000s, uh, but they're always farting. <laughs> That's kind of the idea with the game. I played this with my younger cousins and they had a blast with this game, no doubt. And if you've got younger kids, or of course, if you are in, 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 the, in the teens area of a game like this, you're going to enjoy it. It's a quick game. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, a little bit of luck involved because you're just drawing cards and playing them onto your opponents and you never know who's going to win. It's kind of just all altogether craziness, but it, it, in a good way. Like, if you enjoy that kind of craziness, this is going to be for you. If you don't like games that maybe might make you uh, randomly draw cards you don't want or get cards you don't want, maybe you have a hand that you don't like, things like that are going to happen in a game like this, and you, I should expect it in this one as well. Not a lot of mitigation as far as different numbers you may or may not get. Now, you do have choice, obviously, how many cards you choose to draw, what cards you choose to play. Are you going to keep cards and save them to play on players later in the game? If you wait too long, it can affect you. Uh, diverting or reversing cards is important. This game playing two players is not as fun as playing with more players. In a two player game, it's kind of a back and forth. You draw a card, you play a card, your opponent back, forth, back, forth. If you don't have any of those cards to pass on to other players and they do on you, eh, it's not that great. But when you add more players, obviously, to the game, it starts diverting the different require, you know, required areas where you need to place uh, banked farts into different players' pools, and of course, utilizing those cards to your benefit. Then it might not be a bad thing that you're actually not having cards to pass on other players because you can utilize the cards in your hand to prevent players from hurting you in the game. So anyway, more players, the better. Most take that card games are like that, right? You have a lot of players, it's a lot of craziness. More people, more crazy. For a crazy game is always going to be good. The artwork is going to work for some, and of course, not for others. Like I said, if the theme of this game does not respond well to you, you're, this is not one for you. But if you do like this type of humor, if you like Take That Card Games and nuttiness all around, if you have at least three or four players to jump in, and of course, the more the merrier, this is going to be a fun, solid little Take That style card game. And additionally, I really like the fact that they're doing a one-to-one -one donation for kids in hospitals. I think a lot of kids in there will enjoy the humor of this game and take away a, a little bit of happiness. Uh, 
whenever they're whatever for whatever they're going through, right? But yes, overall, a solid little take that game. You know, if you're a hardcore gamer that likes more modern, like thinky strategic games, then maybe a pass for you. For me though, when I bring my cousins over, I have new players coming to join us, the exploding kittens fans and those people alike. This one is something I would easily bring out. One last thing before the outro is that the adults only pack for 18 and up, it is an adults pack. Uh, there's cards in here that some may or may not find to be uh, uh, a little too over the top when it comes to farting and of course sharding. Those are things that are going to be taking place in this deck and it's going to be a little more uh, a little more adult orientated. Uh, am I a big fan of it? Eh, not really. It's a little too much for me, but I do have a lot of friends who would enjoy these type of cards, uh, the cards against humanity type of people in your life. You, you know who it is that I am talking about. And the mechanics in the deck is actually, is actually really cool. There's cards that will allow you to bank them in front of you to reduce the number of points in your pool, which I really enjoy. And of course, there's like a super strong card and some other unique different types of cards. You have the, uh, the Expose cards. You choose a card of your choice from the discard pile and put it in your hand. That's really nice. And then there's cards that you can add extra potency to your fart cards. You can attach another card to it and kind of launch it at your opponent. So like an add-on card. Uh, and all these are really, really cool. Of course, there's the Godmother, which I'll let you look up, of course, on the campaign. But uh, yeah, pr pretty cool. But like I said, very raunchy as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube every day on 4 p.m. up until Friday. Uh, we will be moving shortly in the next couple of weeks here, so you'll see a, a, a gap in content. I'll try and release as much as I can while I am currently not able to make content, of course, but if there's a couple days here and there where you don't see any, that's probably why. And of course, our live streams every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST, we'll be doing the next two weeks, but the third week we're gonna have to cancel because I will have literally no place to do it at. I will be moving to a home, but we're gonna have a new studio, a new everything. I'll have a full video detailing all of that, which will be really cool to show you guys, and of course a pool, if you're a swimmer, come on and join us. All right, guys, Patreon members, thank you so much. Moonshell backers, we have updates coming. We're waiting right now. We have the sample products being made and sent to us. Uh, they should be getting here within the next week or two, and I'll have some images of that. And of course, we'll, we'll finish the finer details, and then we'll get started with manufacturing and get the game out as soon as humanly possible. We're just, we're waiting on them now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to uh, farting and sharding with you next time.